I'm Dominique Lay, your neighborhood reporter in Waco. I'm live at Baylor University on Fountain Mall. They just lit the bonfire you can see behind me. After walking around campus for a little while, you can just feel the spirit, feel the energy. You can even hear some music here, but most of all, you can feel the pride. I got to talk with some students earlier today and ask them why they like to keep some homecoming traditions like this bonfire alive. I just bleed green and gold through and through. We are so hyped. It's really all to keep the tradition. Baylor University students are working to keep a century old tradition alive. Tonight we have extravaganza. We've had Dr. Pepper hour, dinner with the Living Stones. So it's been a week of like a lot of stuff. We've been really busy. The private university has the nation's oldest homecoming dating all the way back to 1909. The students coming together on Fountain Mall, um, creating the bonfire and pep rally experience and really just bringing all ages. And I think our students are really great at not just incorporating what students want to do, but thinking about what alums might want to be a part of. And to help create that sense of nostalgia, alumni can go through a living yearbook to take a literal walk down memory lane. More than 300 guests showed up for a 1974 class reunion, and that was just one group celebrating the fun and festivities. I asked VP of Baylor's alumni engagement, Sarah Catherine Ritchie, how the school fosters so much pride. This is the one moment where it feels like I need to be back, I need to be present, and I need to make sure that students know that when they leave this place, there is a whole family waiting for them out in the world. That sense of community is exactly what brings students back every year. A few years when we all come back, those bonds are still going to be there. They're still going to be there, and we're going to get to go and do all these things, but like 20 years from now, and with our families, and bring our families um, to just kind of help and show how we felt when we were students here, and I think that's so cool. If you're able to wake up bright and early tomorrow morning, you can catch the homecoming parade in downtown Waco at 8 o'clock, and you cannot miss the big game against Oklahoma State at 2.30. Your neighborhood reporter live, in, at, live at Baylor, I'm Dominique Lay.